Hey everybody, this is Guillermo with Live Trading with Guillermo. Today is Friday, June 23rd. So I hope you're having a, a good Friday and I hope you're ready for the weekend. Uh, my kids are off for the summer. There's no school. They're outside making a bunch of noise. So if the mic picks up some noise, you know what, that's that's what's going on. So they're having a good old time and uh, enjoying summer. Perfect weather outside. So they're having a good time. So hey guys, man, it's been a good week. Want to bring you up to speed on what's been going on. So as, as you may recall, I did a video announcing the Ripper One AI that I bought about a week ago. And this week is, has been my uh, testing week. And like any bot that I get, I like to do about a week of testing to make sure uh, I kind of see how it works and how I want to utilize the bot in my trading strategy. So I've done that now and I think I'm ready. And... Uh, I'll be ready to start this on Monday. So as you can see here, I have the, the Ripper One AI Prop Edition loaded. Uh, it took a trade. Um, it made $92 and it's not exciting. 92 bucks is not all that exciting. But what I realized that in the risk tab, you have to change your multiplier. So when I cycled the bot to turn it on, it defaults back to one. And I have a 10 multiplier because I'm, I'm running a 300K account. And when I entered the zero, I didn't tap through it. So the number never updated. So it defaulted to a one. So this 92 should have been 920. That's just the way it goes, lesson learned. So I think next time when I load my instance, I gotta make sure I tap through so everything updates. Uh, that was my bad. So this would have been a lot more exciting had it been shown at 920. But you never know, the, the bot is on and it's trading. So hopefully um, while we're talking, maybe I'll take a trade and it'll be kind of cool. To see what it does but anyway i'm recording live so i don't know what what it's gonna do so people have been asking me like well first of all i create the video i posted created created a huge buzz i think i have like seven thousand views on that video so people really want to know about this bot i think it's pretty pretty hyped up right now and i think people are excited for this type of uh, technology because this type of bot doesn't exist outside of true trade I'm not I'm not a salesperson. I'm not trying to hype you up and telling you go buy this thing. But I have not seen anything like it. There's nothing out there that even resembles this. You know, everything that I that you see is just your traditional bot, which is nothing wrong, but there this is really like as passive as you can get, right? There's no charts, there's no settings, there's nothing. You just pick your multiplier, you pick your account, and you just turn it on. And so there's nothing like that out there. So people have been asking me, like, how, how's it performing? Uh, so far, so good. You know, I've only been trading, like I said, on an eval account, been checking to see how it performs, uh, been running it pretty much all week. Uh, I've noticed that it has a pretty low drawdown, which I think I really like, uh, especially for prop trading, which is the trading that I do. I like to keep that, uh, I keep, keep it pretty low, because if you don't, you can blow up your account. So, so far what I've seen, the drawdown has been like anywhere from as low as like 120 bucks, all the way to up to like 230 uh, per NQ contract. So if you've been trading for a while, that sort of drawdown on a full NQ is actually pretty darn good uh, when you take a trade. So that's actually super, super good. I, I can't can't emphasize that enough. So if you're only trading like one, one let's say one multiplier or maybe two, your risk could be anywhere from like a couple hundred bucks to maybe 500, let's say. Uh, which is not a lot because on a 50k account your trailing drawdown is like 27.50 I think so you have a lot of opportunity to, to get back in the game so that's pretty pretty darn low I, t I trade a 10 multiplier so it could be as low as like you know 10 contracts it could be higher than that but you know uh, that's just how it is on a, on a just think of it you know it's a, it's a large account and I'm trading more contracts so my trailing drawdown is going to be bigger but uh, I have a, a bigger trailing drawdown uh, allowance. You know, my, my trailing drawdown is 7,500 available on a 300K. So it's just a matter of perspective, depending on how you trade. Just keep in mind that it's it's actually pretty, pretty, pretty good. So I'm excited uh, for Monday, because Monday I'm going to go ahead and load up maybe five accounts. I, I'm thinking five, maybe six, we'll see. And, and get them loaded and see how they perform on Monday. Uh, 
just kind of thinking strategy wise how, how, how am I going to do this I'm thinking I'm going to do them in batches so I think I might do batches of five get them funded I'm hoping in three to five days stops get another batch do another five and I'm going to do them in smaller batches just so I can see how things work and make sure uh, everything works I don't want to overload the system by trying to do ten at, at a time I, it might not be wise from a system resource perspective I don't want to push, uh, push the limits of my server and risk, you know, not, not having good results. So I, I don't want to push my server to the limit. I don't think that's smart. I don't need to do that. So I think I'm going to stick with five, five at a time. And then, then once I get, uh, get an account funded, I'm going to trade them because uh, you still have to trade for seven days, as you guys know, with Apex. So even if I meet my profit target in, let's say, three, four days, then I'm going to switch over to like a mini uh, trading manually uh, on a like a one minute chart. Just take a, con you know, one mini contract, open, close and be done and just do that till I meet the seven day trading uh, requirement. That's just the way it goes. You got to trade for seven days. Uh, so I wouldn't use the bot for that. Uh, once I meet the target, I'm going to stop trading it and then switch to another batch of, of accounts. And then once I get them funded, then I'll, I'll, I may do something similar. Maybe one day I'll do five. The next day I'll do the other five. So I'll have to coordinate. I'll have to figure out how, how I want to do this. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to push it uh, and, 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 and risk too much. I think I'm going to, like I said, from a server perspective, I don't want to push the limits. I don't think it would make sense to have 20 instances open or something like that. I just don't think that makes sense. I wouldn't want to that so yeah exciting stuff guys monday is the big day like i said i think i'm gonna do five uh i may even do a video where you actually look at the trade of eight uh stats uh on a video instead of a screenshot i think i'll have it so you can see it kind of live and i think that would be kind of cool so you can see how the bots perform so that that'd be kind of fun so stay tuned i know you guys have been writing me emails you've really been wanting to know what's been going on uh I'm, I'm this close. I think Monday's the day, and I think it's going to blow things away. But I'm excited for the week. If it's not Monday, it's going to be this this coming week because, you know, we have the 4th of July holiday the week after. So there's going to be a lot of activity this week because then the holiday might be a little bit slowish. But I think this coming week is going to be great, great for trading. So I'm excited for that. Uh, perfect timing with all of this because Apex Trader Funding is having a 90% off sale. So it's their 4th of July sale. It's actually good until through July 6th, 11, 59 p.m. Eastern time. So if you use my code, which you see on the screen here, QCV42LIQ gets you 90% off now and 80% off at renewal. Uh, remember, guys, you can get up, in, up to 20 accounts if you want to. This is the time to do it. So if you have, if you're thinking of getting the Ripper 1 AI, I would say get it. And then get yourself a bunch of accounts. Whether you're doing 50K accounts, 300K, whatever you're going to do, just get a big batch of them because they're on sale. Like, you know, uh, I think a 50K account is probably going to cost you like 30 bucks, I, I think, with tax. I think it's going to be super cheap. Uh, I'm getting 60, uh, uh, 300K accounts, which are like $65 plus tax. Super affordable. So the timing couldn't be any more perfect. Whether you're getting the Ripper One, maybe you uh, AI, or maybe you gain the original Ripper One, or 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 the Black Edition Ripper X Black, whatever you're getting, get it now. Don't wait, because this sale is only good through the six. So this is a perfect chance for you guys to just load up on on evals. No sense of risking your own money on your own brokerage account. I have a brokerage account through Ninja Trader Brokerage. I'm not gonna trade at. Uh, I'm going to trade this, you know, I'm going to get these evals and just get them passed because it's like I said, it's, it's, it's cheap money. Uh, and then I'll do my other trading as I do on my other servers and, and do that. So I'll have like a multi-pronged strategy, but right now I'm focusing on the Ripper one AI, uh, prop edition, because that's, that's really the opportunity. Cause I'm really looking to leverage, uh, ideally I would like to leverage uh, 20 accounts to, to be making some serious, uh, serious dollars on, with a spot so that's that's the goal uh that's the journey i'm going to take you through 
I'm gonna document it for you and then take you take you through from from beginning to end and and, and show you that uh, through my channel so that's that's the goal and I hope I can uh, deliver that for you uh, just before warned my videos may not be that exciting because there's not a lot to see uh, just like right now you see an ID2 up there it could all of a sudden go up but you wouldn't know it's coming so it's kind of it's kind of like watching grass grow not exciting at all it just sits there like you, you're looking at the the seconds here counting and it's not doing anything so you just never know when the next trade is going to happen so it's not the most exciting so if you're the type of trader that wants to see a whole bunch of action and charts and support and resistance and fibonacci levels and all that stuff you're not going to see that here you're not going to see any of that because i don't have to do that you don't have you don't have to do that the bot does everything for you it manages the risk takes the trades stop losses uh you don't have to worry about bar size uh, you don't have to worry about momentum and consolidation and all of that stuff. You have to worry about any of that. It's pretty, pretty darn cool. So with that, folks, uh, that's going to be it for me today. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I hope to see you on Monday. And don't forget, pick up some evals. Uh, use my code. I would love your support. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye.